So what do you guys want to do this weekend? We could go to the United Kingdom exhibit. Good idea. I heard they just added a new section for Queen Elizabeth. Yo, what's up, homie? Oh, hey, little Robbie. Y'all looked a little dull over here, so I thought I'd come over and brighten you up. Yeah, I see you got some new bling. You bet I do. My dad got it for me while I'm released this month. Oh, yeah, I think I sold those hats to the flea market. No way. This is all 24 karat gold. My dad got the hookup. Are you sure? Because my dad has a gold tester if you want to test it out. All right, bet. Hey, I just finished wrapping the presents. How's the decorating coming? Great, I just finished. Check it out. Let's party. Get it? Party like a paw? But Emma, this party's for Grandma. I know, that's why I did a dog theme. She loves her dog more than she loves us. But Emma, Mia's gone. Remember, Grandma didn't have her glasses on when she was driving. Oh my gosh, I forgot about that. But it's okay, we still have time to change it. Oh, look at all these beautiful decorations. Emma, did you do this for me? Uh, yeah. Oh, how sweet. Let me put my glasses on so I can see it better. What? The neighbors have a camera? They sure do, and I already messaged them to ask for the footage. But it's all the way over there. I doubt I can see this area over here. I don't know. I'm pretty sure it can. Oh, look at that. I already got the footage. Well, if it can see this area over here, then good. It can show how your boys knocked my son off the fence. Uh, Mom, actually, here it is. Just let me zoom in here. There he is climbing the fence, and oh, there he goes. Well, this should be a pretty easy case. Give me that. I mean, we don't need to take this to court. I mean, after all, we are neighbors. We are, but maybe you should teach your boy not to lie. That's a very good idea. What? But you're the one that told me to zip it, Brayden. Uh, okay, y'all have a nice day. Yeah, it's McDonald's. I'm so glad I don't have to eat a packed lunch like you losers. Hey, I like my lunch. And besides, isn't a Big Mac meal and a Happy Meal a little much? No, I just get the Happy Meal for the Pokemon cards. Do one of you want to trade me a dessert for the food? I can see what I have to trade for it. <laughs> Out of that little monkey box? No thanks, I don't want a banana. I have a Rice Krispie treat. Hmm, tempting, but pass. I wasn't talking to you, I was talking to Chuck. Well, let's see. Ooh, Starbucks Cake Pops. Deal, which one can I have? Which one do you want? I love Cake Pops, I'll trade for any of them. Ooh, I would, but I only have an Allen unicorn does it look like i have any banana ones hey guys here's some cotton candy thanks man mm, cotton candy my favorite well that cotton candy looks delicioso oh hey brayden i see your broken arm is already healed oh yes it is i heal really fast the doctors basically say i'm a superhero more like super annoying well am i just gonna stand here all day or are you gonna give me some cotton candy wait what's in your walmart bag maybe you can share some of what you have for a change yeah right i'm not sharing my new toys with you it's okay chuck my dad bought extra oh it's the cheap kind thanks you're welcome maybe it won't be that bad I think he's choking. Hit his back. Okay. <coughs> what? You put a plastic dinosaur in my cotton candy? I'm telling my mother. Hey, look. The ice cream truck is coming. Oh, good. I'm going to get a SpongeBob Popsicle. Well, well, well. What do we have here? What do you want, Joe? Well, I have a little problem. You see, the ice cream truck just pulled in, but I'm a little low on cash. Then maybe you should go get a job. Aren't you like 18? Now, why would I want to get a job when I have generous friends like you guys? Sheesh. Why don't you go pick up somebody your own size? Oh, look. A little hero. What are you going to do about it? Ugh. Well, this is a nice hat. Well, it was a nice hat. <laughs> Goodbye, twerps. Chuck, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine, but he won't be after I call my brother. Oh, yeah, isn't Buck a professional wrestler? No, he's professional MMA. I don't get how Brayden had that toy in his cotton candy. Do either one of you have one in yours? No, I don't. Just cotton candy. I can't believe you boys are bullying my son again. Where's your father? Oh, hey, Karen. How are you doing today? How am I doing? Your boys put this little dinosaur inside my son's cotton candy. Yeah, I choked so hard I almost passed out. Now calm down. I'm sure that toy wasn't in your cotton candy, right, Jackson? Well, technically, I think it was, but see, I told you. I have no idea how that got in there. I'm assuming his behavior will be dealt with. I can't believe you would do something like this. But I didn't. No, get inside. Chuck, Noah, I think you two better be getting home. Come now, Brayden. Justice has been served. I'm telling you, man, Mr. Williams is a werewolf. Dude, just because he's hairy and smelly doesn't mean he's a werewolf. Okay, but what about his nails and, hey, is that a giant mushroom in your yard? No, I don't know what this is. Ew, why are you touching it? I don't think it's anything bad. It smells like food. It worked. See, I told you he would pick it up. What? What is this? A little something called queso fresco. Queso? So like cheese? Exactly. Wait, so if that's cheese and I just picked it up and touched it, then that means that I have the cheese touch. Run. See ya. Sorry, man. Well played, Emma. But now, it's my turn. Man, it doesn't make sense that that toy was in Brain's Cotton Candy. I mean, the bag was sealed. Didn't you see that the dinosaurs were two different colors? Come on, we're gonna go have a quick chat with Brayden. 
<gasps> what are you two doing here? Hey, Brayden, we just wanted to come see how you were feeling. Terrible, my throat hurts so bad I can barely talk. Sorry, man, are you at least having fun with those new toys? Yes, but you're not gonna see them. You know what, Chuck? I bet his toys are from the dollar store. <laughs> yeah, I bet they're already broken. What, are you kidding me? My mom's a lawyer. She can buy me the best and most expensive toys. Oh, really? Prove it. Look, this is a limited edition Jurassic World toy. It costs like $20. Even these smaller ones are expensive. Wow, those are really nice. And they look exactly like the ones that you choked on from the cotton candy. All right, I'm Brayden. I'm going to do the Jarritos Challenge. It's Jarritos. It's Jarritos. Yeah, whatever. Mm, that first one is coconut. Um, what? What do you mean? Wow, I'm not cheating. No, I'm, cheating. I'm not cheating. I just looked at the one. Mm, that one's watermelon. That one's lime. That one's mango. Mm, and that last one is definitely grapefruit. Wrong. What? What do you mean? It's so grapefruit. I switched it. Why? You can't do that. That's cheating. You cheated. I win. Bye. Jackson, why was everyone at school talking about you having a treasure necklace? What? A treasure necklace? Uh, that's weird. Are you wearing one of mom's golden necklaces? No, it's not one of mom's. It's the golden family heirloom that grandma gave me. What? That's worse. You know mom and dad told you to keep that in a lockbox. I know, but it's so cool. I just wanted to do it this one time. Please don't tell. I won't. Under one condition. What? I won't tell mom and dad what you wore today, but I get to pick out what you wear tomorrow. I guess I can't be that bad, but I'm not wearing makeup. I'm not gonna make you wear makeup, but you could use a little ketchup. Hey, Jackson, I made you your favorite cereal. Ooh, Reese Puffs. Thanks, Dad. No problem, and after you're done with that, maybe we can go out and get some ice cream? No way, really? You bet. After all, we're gonna need all the energy we can get for the arcade. Okay, now this is too good to be true. Is this like an early birthday gift or something? Nope. But wait, if we're spending all this money, are we still gonna have enough to go to Disneyland next week? Ooh, oh yeah, about that. We're not going. Hey man, thanks for standing up for Emma. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. My hat got a little dirty, but that's about it. Hey, how's it going, my little favorite hero? What do you want, Joe? Hey now, calm down. I was just coming over here to get a drink. Hey, give it back. Ah, refreshing. Hey, what's going on over here? <laughs> and who are you supposed to be? I'm Chuck's older brother. Look, just give him the drink back and you won't have any problems. Oh, I think you're mistaken. I'm not the one that's gonna have the problems. Hey, Buck, are you gonna come set up your room? I don't know where to put your UFC belt. Yeah, Mom, I'll be there in a second. I just gotta take this trash out real quick. I'm so excited that we won the pizza party. I know, I can't believe our class collected the most cans. Yeah, we did, thanks to me. Well, I think we all did our part. And what are you drinking? Oh, this? It's agua de coco. It's way healthier than that jarito. Oh, coconut water? I just got good old tap water and I couldn't find my bottle this morning, so I had to use my sister's. Ugh, disgusting. I'm so glad my parents make over 100 grand a year so I don't have to drink stuff like that. Well, my parents may not make 100 grand, but at least they can buy me 100 grand. What, you brought snacks? Can I have some? Ooh, I would, but I don't have that much, but I'm sure your parents can buy you some. Hello, Mark. Oh, hey, Karen. How's Brayden feeling? Oh, terrible. His throat hurts him so bad he couldn't even sleep last night. We're probably going to have to take him to the hospital. Oh, wow. And I'm assuming you'll be covering those medical bills since this is your son's fault. No, it's not. Chuck, what are you doing here? Noah and I just came from Brayden's house. Yeah, Jackson didn't put that toy in the cotton candy. Brayden staged it himself. What? These boys are probably just lying so that you'll unground your son. No, we're not. Brayden has a bag full of dinosaurs that match the one that he choked on. In fact, we found the one that he choked on in the bag. Oh, really? What? I've never seen those in my life. No, Mom, remember? These are the ones you bought me from. That's enough. Well, I guess we'll see you at the neighborhood cookout. Uh, goodbye. Wait, do you actually fight in the UFC? Oh, I've been fighting professionally for three years now. Oh, well, you know, we shouldn't fight in front of the little kids. Uh, it would be a bad example. Not any more than you stomping on my hat or stealing my drink. Oh, come on, Chuck, uh, Chucky, uh, Chuckaroo. You knew I was just playing around. Oh, just playing around like this. Oh, come on, man. I'm sorry. Good. So I'm not going to hear any more about this bullying, right? No, man, you won't. I swear. Okay, now get out of here. Okay. Thanks for sticking up for me, Buck. Of course, no one picks on my little brother except me. Ah, uh, whatever. I'm just glad you're visiting for the week. Me too. Oh, good. He's only back for the week. My mom just dropped off some fresh Danishes from Starbucks. Y'all want to trade? Oh, man, I already ate most of my food, but I'll show you some Pokemon Oreos for one. That's not enough, but you throw in that Sunny Dean, we have a deal. I have some food to trade. Are you kidding me? Do I even want to know what's inside that little bag? What? My abuela made me lunch. Uh, yeah, hard pass. If I want Spanish food, I'll just go to Taco Bell. Chuck, are those the pupusas your abuela just sold at the fundraiser? They sure are. I'll definitely trade you for one of those. Wait, those pupusa things that sold out in like 10 minutes? I'll trade for one. Well, I would trade, but I don't have any tacos. Dad, Jackson brought it right home from school and it's in his room. What? He did? Okay, Jackson, where is it? Huh? Where's what? That thing you brought home from school. Oh, you mean this? Wait, you don't even have a lid on that bucket? You better hope it doesn't jump out. Um, yeah, I don't think it's gonna jump out on its own. What do you mean? Let me see it. Okay. Really? A mouse?
Are you ready to play Fortnite tonight? Sheesh! Heck yeah, I finally got that Doctor Strange skin. Yo, I love Fortnite. That's the chillest game ever. Lil Robbie, are you even allowed to play Fortnite? Yeah, I can play it. I'm basically a pro. The other day, I took out Ninja. Really? The Ninja? Yeah, the real one. And what kind of chips are you eating? Uh, duh, the rap snacks. They have my favorite rapper on it, Notorious B.I.G. Oh, wow. Maybe you'll be on those chips one day. Yeah, that is if you're not too busy beating Ninja. Man, whatever. I'm out of here. I'm so tired of getting disrespected. Hey, little man, you said you're tired of getting disrespected? I can help you with that. Hey, Emma, guess what I got at school for dad's birthday? Um, I don't know, a SpongeBob folder? No, way better, an antique avatar action figure. Okay, can't you just buy those at Walmart? Not this one, it's like 20 years old and super rare. Oh, really? Then how did you get it? I had to trade my best Fortnite account and $100. All that just for this? You better wrap it up before dad gets home. Ooh, good idea. Huh, I guess it is kind of cool. No way. Is that the limited edition Fire Series figure I've been looking for since 2006? Uh, yeah, I think it is. And you got that for me for my birthday? Uh, yeah, I hope you like it. Oh my gosh, thank you. You're the best daughter ever. Hey, Jackson, look at these Halloween decorations I got for the fish tank. Cool. Does that say flush too soon? That's hilarious. I know. They're going to look so good next to you. Wait a second. Does Daisy look a little off to you? What do you mean? She looks green instead of yellow. Oh, yeah. And isn't she supposed to be the biggest? Yeah, but now she's like one of the smallest ones. Maybe she's sick. You better go ask Dad. Hey, Dad, I was just looking at the fish. What's going on with Daisy? Oh, uh, is that the yellow one? Yeah, but she doesn't look yellow. She looks green and smaller. Oh, right. Probably because we uh, ran out of the glow fish food, so I had to substitute goldfish food. Oh. Okay. Dad, Jackson's drinking energy drinks in his room. What? He is? Okay, Jackson, where is it? What? Where's what? What do you have in here? A monster? A rock star? You know you're not supposed to have those. I don't know what you're talking about. I know you're in here having fun playing games with your friends, but that doesn't mean you can just drink whatever you want like they do. Drink what? What are you talking about? Where's the energy drinks? Oh, but mom drinks these all the time. I didn't know they were bad. Mango nectar? Really? What are you doing on the sofa? This house is a mess and my friend Patricia's coming over. Go upstairs and clean your room now. What? Why? Are you planning to go up in my room? Because I said so. Go. Okay. Hi, Mary. Thanks for inviting me. Your house looks immaculate as always. Hey, and are you kidding me? This house is a mess. I haven't even had time to clean. Whoops. Sorry, Mom. The controller was still on the couch, but I picked it up. Wow, I wish my kids were like that. They just leave toys all over the house. They just love to play. Oh, yes, mine too. I just let them put away their toys whenever they feel like it. Kids will be kids. Really? Brayden, are you sure you want to eat that? Yes, I'm going to eat it. You think I'm afraid of a little Halloween chip? You guys weren't going to share, so now I'm going to eat it. Wait, before you open it, you might want to put some gloves on first. I'm not putting a glove on. You think I'm afraid of a little spice? Did you just put the whole chip in your mouth? See, not even that. Ah, I need milk. I'll go get you some. Ow, ow, ow. Here, I got you a glass. Give me that. Mom, they're not working. My mouth is on fire. Here, try an icy. Mm, it's still not working. Call an ambulance and my mother. Look, guys, Grandma sent some Halloween baskets. What? And she actually found some of those rare McDonald's Halloween buckets? Oh, yeah, I'm selling mine on eBay. Here you go, Jackson. Thanks. Ooh, mine's filled with candy. And look, Snickers, my favorite. And this one's for you, Emma. Wow, look at all these fidgets. <laughs> it's corn. Oh, wait a second. It looks like both of these buckets are for Jackson. What? Then what did I get? It looks like you got this Halloween mystery bag. Whoa, it's so heavy and it's filled with... What? Apples and avocados? I think there might be some candy in there. Keep looking. Oh, I think I see it. It's a pixie stick. Hey, Dad. What's up, my little princess? Well, I was just thinking my room's been pink for as long as I can remember. Of course it is your favorite color. I mean, it used to be, but I was thinking maybe we could paint it a different color. But then your cute little signs aren't going to match. Yeah, I was thinking maybe I could get some new pictures, too. Ooh, I don't know. That seems like a lot of work. Ask me again in a few years. Hey, Emma, do you want to go get some ice cream? We just had ice cream yesterday. Don't you think that's a little too much sugar? Whoa, okay. That's the first time you said no to Sweet Frog. Oh, I didn't know you were going to Sweet Frog. Yeah, but that's fine. It'll give me some extra money for some more gummy worms. No, I mean, I'm sure a small cup wouldn't hurt. All right, race to the car. Okay. Too bad it's still raining outside. Well, at least we're safe in here from Brayden. Hello? Looks like I spoke too soon. Do you have to let him in? Well, I can't just leave him outside in the rain. About time. Move over. 
Are you guys doing anything fun in here? I'm bored. Oh, we're about to have some fun. What? Is that the one chip challenge? Yes, but I only have this one, so we have to split it up and each take a little piece. Let me see that. I don't want to split it up. I want the whole piece. Brayden, give that back. That's a really, really hot chip. No, it's not. I can see there's a skeleton on it for Halloween. You just don't want me to have it. No, that's not it. It's not my fault that your mom's poor and can only afford to buy you one. You know what? Go ahead. Eat it. Do you hear about the new McDonald's Happy Meal for adults? Yeah, my mom and I went to go get one, but they were all out. I know, right? We drove to like four different McDonald's and they were all out. So, you two are looking for a new McDonald's Happy Meal? Yeah, do you know where we can get one? Let's just say I have connections for the right price. Okay, uh, I have 20. I have 10. Yes, this is good. Do you want 10 piece or Big Mac? What? No way. Don't tell me you actually have the toys. How many do you want? Dad, Jackson told me there's a monster in my closet. What? He did. Jackson, did you tell Emma there's a monster in her closet? Yeah, why? What have I told you about lying to scare your sister? What are you talking about? I'm not lying. There is one. See, I told you. That's enough. You need to tell her the truth now or you're grounded. But I am telling the truth. I can show you. Oh, really? Then let's go look. It's there in the closet in the top drawer. Really? Hey, I heard screaming from outside. What's going on? Brayden just tried the one chip challenge. What? Where did you get the chip? Chuck brought it over, but Brayden wasn't supposed to eat it. Ah, uh, it hurts so bad. Where's my mother? We already called her. She should be here any moment. Where's my poor baby? I'm over here. I can't feel my tongue. Oh, here. I brought you some milk. I'm so sorry, Susan. I didn't know the kids had that chip. I didn't even want to eat it. They made me. Come on, Brayden. We need to get you to a hospital. Um, guys? What? The cops just pulled in. It's your turn. Truth or dare? Truth. <sighs> really? You always choose truth. You're such a chicken. What? No, I'm not. Fine. Dare. Okay, I dare you to use that marker to write underneath the table. Pfft, really? That's it? What do you mean? Huh, I'll write on this wall if you want me to. No, you wouldn't. Watch me. Emma was here. Emma, what are you doing? Calm down, Jackson. It's not what it looks like. Why would you do that? It's a dry erase marker. See, it'll come right off with a wipe. <gasps> Uh-oh. Dad, Jackson's smoking in his room. Really, Emma? What? Is he playing with those smarty candies again? No, I'm serious. There's smoke everywhere. What? There is. Jackson, <laughs> are you smoking in here? What? No, I'm not smoking. Then what's all this smoke from? I'm just trying to free a magic mixie. What? A magic mixie? What's that? It's this new toy. Really? Hey, guys. Grandma sent you a surprise. Awesome. I wonder what it is. Whoa, mine's a big lollipop. Yes, mine is too. Oh, whoops. It looks like these are actually for the twins. What? Then what did we get? Here you go, Emma. What? These little things? Hey, be grateful for what you got. Jackson only got one. Haha, <laughs> you only got one and I'm not gonna share. Ugh. Here you go, Jackson. What? Hey, Miss Thompson, I brought you this nice pen. Oh, why, thank you, Robert. That's very kind of you. I told you it's not Robert, it's Lil Robbie. Okay, Lil Robbie, I'll call you what you prefer, but you need to straighten up your hat and put on your tutu. Oh, uh, come on. Do I have to? You know the rules. Elegance and grace begin with presentation. <laughs> okay, how does this look? Beautiful. Now let's begin our breathing exercises. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Hey guys, come to the supply closet. You can see the class through the window. No way. Now we just got to take a few quick photos. I can't believe he's actually wearing a tutu. This is so great. Hey, what are y'all doing in here? Check out all this candy I got yesterday. Whoa, that's a lot. Do you have any gummies? Oh yeah, I got a bunch of gummies. What do you have to trade? I have some Smarties and some Whoppers. No, nobody likes those. You should have come to my neighborhood. That's where all the good candy was. I have some candy to trade. Oh really? What kind of candy do you have to go with your greasy bacon and mac and cheese? Actually, this is the candy. What do you mean? The mac and cheese and the bacon are gummies. Whoa, that's so cool. Do you want to trade? Sure, I love Smarties. I've never seen those before. I'll trade you all my candy for some. Oh, sorry, I would, but I think they might be a little too greasy for you. Wow, Emma, I really like your new room. Thanks, it's way better than my old one. I'm actually kind of glad the twins have it now. <laughs> nice extensions. Do you actually wear these? No, those are from my aunt. Do you want some candy? Ooh, Skittles. Your parents actually let you keep candy in your room? No, are you kidding me? I just picked out all the good ones to keep it hidden under my bed. Oh, you don't happen to have any sodas under there, do you? No, you'll have to go to the kitchen for those. Okay. Mm. Whoa, whoa, Maddie, are you okay? What's the rush? I'm fine. I'm just getting some water to wash down that candy. What candy? Whoops. Emma!
So, you ready to settle our bet? Oh yeah, the one to see who got the rarest candy while trick-or-treating? You bet. And whoever loses has to do the other one's chores for a month. Well, my hands are gonna stay clean because check this out. A Mr. Beast chocolate bar. Impressive, but not as impressive as what I have. A who's a what's it? A what? Are you really just making up candies now? See, it's so rare you haven't even heard of it. And check it out, it's a king size. What? What else did you get that at? That doesn't matter, you need to get to work. Oh man. Hey Jackson, have you seen Emma around? Yeah, I think she just went upstairs, why? Because she's been avoiding me, she owes me $2. I drove all the way to Walmart last night to buy her some special candy bar. What? All right, Emma, here's your breakfast. Really, Dad? Waffles shaped like hearts? Oh, look at that. I was just cutting off the rough edges. I didn't even notice that. And my mini cup? Don't you think I'm a little too old for this? Of course not. It matches your mini blanket. Oh, hey, Dad. We were just uh, watching the class and taking notes. Really? But if you're just taking notes, why is your camera out? Well, because we... And is that the little neighbor boy? Oh, it is. I didn't even notice. What's all this commotion doing inside my studio? Oh, sorry, miss. Miss Thompson. These boys were just admiring your class and would like to sign up. What? Sorry, Mr. Ryan, I'd love to, but I don't have any money with me. Oh, that's okay, Chuck. I'll pay for you and Noah. Oh, how exciting. This is perfect timing. We needed extras for our fall recital next week. Uh, Miss Thompson, where exactly is this recital gonna be? Is it gonna be in, like, a local church or something? Oh, of course not. It's gonna be at the upcoming school assembly. Oh, no.